It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Green Flash Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Tangerine Soul Style IPA coming in at 6%, 6.5% ABV and 75 IBUs. You may see in the bottom of the bottle here a little bit of sediment. Oh, maybe, maybe you won't, but you can just... I can see it. You'll have to trust me on that. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Here's a look at the, the bottle cap. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Can you see that now slowly? Can you see that in the neck of the bottle? Lots of sediment. I'm gonna stop it there to be honest. There's lots and lots in there. Um, actually, Actually, it's already made, it's already very, very hazy with lots and lots of, you can see it now, that sediment floating around. So I might as well carry on. Um, there's at least a quarter of the bottle left. Uh, it's been brewed with Citra and Cascade. I'm a big fan of Green Flash. I think they produce some really, really nice beers. That looks really nice. I would call that an East Coast IPA, which looks almost like yogurt with lots of sediment in. Uh, and I'm a fan of that, I always have been, so um, so fair play to that. So a hazy, amber coloured beer, lots of suspended carb... Uh, suspended carbonation, that'd be a new thing, wouldn't it? Lots of suspended sediment, nice rolling carbonation, small one thin, thin finger head, let's get the aroma. Maybe after a taste of this, it might sort my speech out. Yeah, lots of tangerine then. Fresh tangerine, lovely juicy orangey tangerine aroma with a lovely, lovely hop. Bitter finish on this. It's got a lovely, lovely aroma of hops behind that tangerine. It smells weirdly. I'm not sure if it's the hops and the tangerine coming together in, in the aroma, but it's it's a tad minty. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, wow. Blimey, that's different. That is really different. There is so much going on. And I mean, it's taking, it's pulling my my face apart in terms of, let's rephrase that, it's pulling my palate apart. From one instance, and it's a split second, you're getting smashing tangerine flavors. Then the tangerine drops out very quickly. You have a massive, malty, biscuity, bready aroma and taste coming through. That then, moves off to a lovely, more of a, an American traditional style IPA now where it's it's grapefruit, it's mango, there's some lovely lemon in there, lovely lemon peel, it's a little bit spicy, and then a bitterness on the back end. But wow, this is one of them beers that really, really challenges the, the mind on the palate. Stonking, absolutely stonking. So fresh tangerine then, a real fresh, slightly tangy tangerine flavor. Then again, same thing, biscuity breadiness and then a massive hot bomb finish on the back end. That is, it, it's very, very unusual. Um, some, of the, some of the times I've had these beers with, with fresh fruit added to the beers and it kind of mingles and, and just gets itself lost together in what should be where in terms of the taste. How you imagine sometimes a fruity IPA just with real fruit in, just it, it just it's very difficult to pull it off. This on the other hand, it has that malt in the middle as a stop gap. So you have the tangerine flavors over there to the left maybe, then you have your stop gap in the middle 
and and the malt is doing this. It's it's holding the two the two big prominent flavours apart. So tangerine over there, malt in the middle, and then a whacking great hop bitter finish on the back end. What a lovely, lovely beer. How does it feel in the mouth? It's refreshing, it's juicy, it's nicely carbonated. I suppose bitterness is a feeling as well. It's a feeling and it's taste. Get your mouth all puckered up and, and lovely. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic then. The Citra and the Cascade are shining in volumes in that, in that beer. Um, I'm just gonna read out what the, how the brewer describes this beer. A refreshing tangerine paradise. Enjoy a so cal, so Southern California so, uh, summer year round with tangerine soul style IPA. This delectable brew is one way ticket to taste bud paradise. Relax and take in the brilliant golden color and fresh aroma of effervescent tangerine. Tangerine zest carries throughout adjacent to, yeah, adjacent to flavor, or, or sorry, adjacent to bright, floral, tropical flavors, and a juicy finish. Brewed with American malts and a blend of citra and cascade hops, this is a beautiful brew to behold. I totally agree. Totally agree with that. 6.5% ABV, I'm gonna give it a rating. I really like that. Um, it, it's just a bit different. Uh, they got a good nice soul style IPA. This is the tangerine version. This is a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.